Hi, I'm Jennifer Wrench and I'm a collaborative divorce lawyer in St. Louis, Missouri. I would like to talk to you about the difference between litigation and the collaborative divorce process. If you are facing a divorce, you may be hoping that you and your spouse can sit down together and figure out what to do with your house, retirement, possibly a business, and of course the children. But that's a difficult task, right? Some people are still able to communicate effectively and keep emotions in check. But divorce issues are emotional. And making decisions that will affect your future and the future of your children can be stressful. Understandably, most people facing divorce have some level of difficulty in reaching agreements, even if they hope to keep things amicable. But it is possible. And not only is it possible, with the right kind of help, I have seen hundreds and hundreds of couples amicably navigate their way through divorce. There is a good way to divorce and there's a bad way to divorce. If you hope for a good divorce, the key is in choosing the right divorce process. Cases don't settle when there's a lack of information or when a spouse is not emotionally ready to come to the table and communication is poor. Traditional litigation doesn't provoke promote effective communication. In fact, it pits spouses against each other. And spouses talk to their lawyers and through their lawyers, but they don't talk to each other. The gathering of information involves formal discovery requests called interrogatories and requests for production of documents. The process is lengthy, expensive, and causes more conflict between two spouses that really just want to keep it civil but you do have out-of-court alternatives to litigation. One of those alternatives is collaborative divorce. If you like the idea of negotiating your divorce issues out of court, but still need the representation of a lawyer, collaborative divorce may be a better option for you. In collaborative divorce, each spouse is represented by his or her own attorney. The focus is on settlement rather than arguments and court procedures. Financial information is gathered by a financial neutral, which lessens the expense of having the attorneys handle the finances. And this financial expert is available to answer questions about equity in the home, retirement accounts, alimony, child support, tax consequences, and business valuations. The process is structured to promote communication and lessen conflict and settlement negotiations happen in meetings where both spouses and their attorneys gather together out of court to discuss the divorce issues. The collaborative process also uses a communication expert named the coach who facilitates the conversations, much like a mediator would do. The coach helps spouses through the emotions that can slow down the process. Collaborative divorce is an out of court option that is different than litigation. It can be less expensive, less confrontational, and it can lead to better and more sustainable agreements. If you feel that the collaborative divorce process may be right for you, then give me a call. I would love to give you more information about the process and how to get started. I can be reached at 314-725-4000.